Up, up, and away. Just like that, this man is up in the air. Here is French inventor Frankie Zapata. His jet-powered hoverboard invention called the Flyboard is the most recent successful jetpack technology to take off. The Flyboard took him over the English Channel from France to England. He took a 22-mile journey in 22 minutes. I'm, fe I'm feeling good. I'm just feeling very tired. This victory was all the more sweeter because on his first attempt, he ended up making a splash landing. Thankfully, he made it out alive with just a scratch on his arm. But after some tweaks to the invention, he did it. He says flying up above with the newest version was the most amazing moment of his life. Onlookers await on land, admiring the great feat. And check out this jetpack suit. English inventor Richard Browning reached new heights, literally. There he is up successfully using his invention. His company Gravity Industries has been working on it for years. Browning glides from one boat to another over water near the British Isle of Wight. The suit was previously tested on land, but never over water, let alone between two moving ships. But it completed the challenge, no problem. It can fly up to 10 minutes and has a max speed of 32 miles per hour. In Australia, another eye-grabbing jetpack invention. What a view! Check out entrepreneur David Maiman. He's flying loop-de-loops around the Sydney Opera House. And people came out to see it all go down, grabbing their phones to document it all. Just looking at the Opera House, yeah, beautiful, beautiful day. Looking at all you guys down there, flying backwards, doing some spins, just fun. Bit of a dream come true for you. Yeah. The contraption is called JP-10. Maiman says it can fly over 250 kilometers per hour and up to 5,000 meters. A few years earlier, he tried testing an earlier version of the invention in Sydney Harbor, but it splashed down unsuccessfully, making this accomplishment all so special. I'm a Sydney boy. I grew up here and I spent a lot of time overseas trying to build this thing, getting the engineers to work on it. I've flown everywhere overseas, but never here. We were promised jetpacks years ago, and if these inventors have anything to say about it, someday we may actually get them. For InsideEdition.com, I'm Justine Ray.